Welcome to 7.2's Math Moment. Today in fifth grade, students um, learn about simplifying expressions using the order of operations. So over here, we have put some notes just about the order of operations. Um, something that students are also learning is the acronym Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally, which has been an acronym that we've used in math long, um, a long time. But this just means um, parentheses. You do anything in parentheses first. Exponents is anything with a raised number, meaning to the power of that number. Multiplication is going to be our multiplication symbols. Division is the D. A is the addition. And subtraction would be for the S. So the thing to remember about multiplication and division and addition and subtraction that sometimes confuse students is that in a problem, if all they have left is multiplication and division, they should work the problem left to right. Um, so if division were to come first, they would do division first. Most of the time, if they're going to do multiplication first according to the order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But this note here from left to right, it's very important to know that if only multiplication and division are left, you just work the problem from left to right, or how we say it with the students is front to back. And then the same thing with addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction, normally, most of the time, addition will come first. But if you look at a problem and the only two operations that are left is addition and subtraction, you work the problem left to right or front to back. So let's go ahead and look at some examples. This one says 100 divided by, in, in brackets, 12 minus 7 in parentheses times 2. So the first thing that I need to do is follow, and I kind of make a checklist as I go. I look for parentheses. Well, in this problem, I actually have parentheses here, and then I have brackets. What this means is I want to do whatever's in the innermost parentheses first, and then I want to take my answer times this 2 inside the bracket before I do anything else. So I just kind of work my way out of that bracket. So the first thing I'm going to do is 12 minus 7. And we encourage students when they are doing a long um, expression and they are um, following the order of operations to use just kind of this V symbol or this caret symbol to help them bring down their answer and then rewrite everything. So 12 minus 7 I know is 5. So then what I encourage students to do is rewrite everything else that they didn't do yet because now I have another problem. It's different. It looks a little bit different than this problem. It's the same thing. I'm just simplifying it down. But I need to rethink about my order of operations every single time after I solve one part of it. So now I'm working with division and I have parentheses and brackets. So I'm going to do this first. 5 times 2 is 10. Now there's only one number left in those parentheses and brackets, so I, can, I don't have to include them anymore. And then I just have my 100 divided by 10. There's nothing left to do except that one operation, so that's easy to know. 100 divided by 10. 10 can go into 10 one time. Bring down a 0, put up a 0. 100 divided by 10 would be 10 for that first answer. All right, let's take a look at example two. It says one minus one half times one minus one half, and those are both in parentheses. So the first thing I need to do is solve what's in parentheses. I've got two of those, and I could go ahead and simultaneously um, solve those and record them down. So I know that one minus a half, if I have one whole and I take away one half, I'm left with one half. So on both of these problems, because they're the exact same, I have one half and one half. The only thing that I haven't done in this problem is multiply. I use that multiplication symbol. So I don't have anything left. I've taken care of what's in this parenthesis, taken care of what's in that parenthesis. Now I can just do top times top and bottom times bottom for a final answer of one fourth. All right, our last example says 18 plus 9 divided by 1 tenth. So I've got plus and I've got division. I need to look here and decide which one comes first, addition or division. I see the division comes first, so I'm going to do that first. 9 divided by 1 tenth. Anytime I have a decimal on the outside, I have to move it to the inside. However many spots I move on the 
um, outside number, I have to move on the inside number. One goes into nine, nine times. One goes into zero, zero times. So this would be the same as 90. I'm taking care of these numbers, so now I just drop down what I still have left to be 18 plus 90. So I'm going to go ahead and solve 90 plus 18, which would give me a final answer of 108. So remembering to encourage your student to show every single step that they do, carrot down each of the problems, follow that all the way through, rewrite all of those lines um, and really look at each line as they continue to work through the problem. If you have any questions about order of operations or lesson 7.2, make sure to see your math teacher.